Hello everyone, welcome to Success Education. In this video, we will see the solution for science journal for standard 8, experiment number 9. The aim is to understand that the force of friction depends on the nature of the two horizontal surfaces in contact. The apparatus and materials are spring balance, string and brick. And you need to draw the same figure just below where the space is given. And the procedure is tie a string around a brick and place it on the table. Pull the brick by a spring balance. You need to apply some force. Note down the reading on the spring balance when the brick just begins to move. Now wrap a piece of polythene around the brick and repeat the activity. Do you observe any difference in the reading of sp uh, spring balance in the above two cases? What might be the reason for this difference? Repeat this activity by wrapping a piece of jute bag around the brick. What do you observe? And the observation is, the object pulled by the spring balance is written as brick, brick wrapped by a piece of polythene and brick wrapped by a piece of jute. And the reading on the spring balance is X unit, Y unit and Z unit respectively where in the first case where x is greater than y and in the second case where z is greater than x is greater than y and the conclusion is the force of friction is greater as roughness of the surfaces in contact is more now test your knowledge question number one uh, is mcqs first one a spring balance is used to measure force on an object it's option number d second Force of friction depends on all of these. It's option number D. Third, the sliding frictional force exerting between two surfaces in contact is found 8 Newton. Then what should be the static frictional force exerting between these two surfaces? It's option number B, 10 Newton. Fourth, which of the following factors has no effect on fluid friction? It's option number A, mass of the object. Fifth, which of the following statements is incorrect? It's option number B. Sliding friction is lesser than rolling friction. And here we come to the end of experiment number 9. I hope you have understood the complete experiment. If you have any doubts, you can write in the comment section. I'll surely try to answer all the questions. Thank you for watching my video and do subscribe my channel for more updates. Thank you.